So I've played around with the velocity until it sounded perfect. What's up? And today we're going to create a Spanish influence Afrobeat in Apple Studio. So I hope you enjoy it. So for this beat, I'm adjusting the BPM to 100. And right now I'm just going to pick the scene from Conte. And for an Afrobeat, so Mark 1 keys always fit perfect. So I'm going to use this pink Playboy preset. Just leave it this way. And I'm adjusting the key to A minor. And I'm using this just as a guidance. Writing some dark chords. And let's add C on top. Sounds great. It's not in the highlighted keys, but just let's use it. So I'll throw my melody a little bit play around the velocity as you can see and it sounds like this. Alright now maybe just let's add some drums. So I'm gonna start off with a soft kick. Let's use this one. And let's start off with a snare alternative. Let's use this one. Just create a simple 4x4 kick pattern. Then drag it in this one. Maybe play it at F create this triplet pattern and right now it sounds like this removing the noise of the sample draw it in into the arrangement and then of course we're going to add a shaker loop so we're going to use my favorite shaker loop the seven shaker loop drag it in adjust the volume to around 50 percent I right now just add another element from contact. And I think I'm gonna use some horns. Just a simple one key horn. Single articulated. And then of course add this, this preset, which is great. And for example, let's use this C. Every four bars. All right, now we're gonna add a bass line. So I'm gonna use the ample bass A. I'm gonna add this one to add the rhythm to the beat. So this one has to be perfect. And of course, I'm starting off at the A to keep it simple. Add a short note. Use this E again. For example, is C. So duplicate this one again. And create something like this. So I've played around with the velocity until it sounded perfect. And right now it sounds like this. So right now I'm gonna add a simple guitar one shot. So I'm gonna use contact. And I'm just adding tiny elements to fill up the empty spaces. So I'm gonna use guitar from Ilya Afimov, which I highly recommend. And I'm gonna use the guitar NG. So this is just a simple Spanish guitar. And let us also start off with an A, E, and also an A. And later on, I'm gonna add some reverb so it blends perfect together. And let's just add another element. So I'm gonna use the Mellotron 5, which I'm using in a lot of beats recently. And I'm just gonna add the Strawberry Flutes preset. Exactly what I'm looking for. Maybe just use some notes from our bass line. So all the melody layers together sound great and later on I'm gonna add some more effects. But right now I'm gonna add more elements to our drum pattern. So let's add some toms. So I'm gonna select natural toms, bongo. Let's use this one. Perfect. So 
at the next element. So let's add a djembe. Let's use this one. So those are not exactly the same, but I think that it just sounds cool. So right now I'm gonna add wood percussion, bamboo stick. Let's add this one. So this is one of the percussion MIDI presets from my Afrobeat producer kit. All kinds of MIDI's like this are included in this pack. And I want to add one more tom. This one which has some more mid and low frequencies. I copy this one into this one. I'm gonna move it one bar to the right. I think the bass line and the drums sound very groovy. And right now, create a simple drum roll. Not too difficult. So let's use this one. I'm gonna select the magnet, select one third. Something which I like to add in my beats lately. And then I'm gonna select the low. Let's use this one. And of course, we're gonna add around 20% of swing. So that's it when it comes to creating all the elements. Or I'm gonna create the final arrangement as some effects and guide you through the final beat. So this is the final arrangement. I'm gonna play the first part of the beat, but I'm using one more element. So I'm using the serum bass. And I'm, this is from my serum bass presets pack. I've chopped up some of the elements, added this impact. Also from my sample pack, create this one myself on the Mark 1. So I've automated this one. You can do this by selecting this one, pressing options, last tweaked, and then create automation clip. And then just move the points and create something like this. So that's it, and I hope you enjoy the final beat. So I remove some of the notes, choosing the intro from the Mark 1. Snare and the bongo coming in and the bass line. coming in, guitar again, flute, reverse the first score of the Mark 1. So that's it, and uh, right now I'm gonna wrap up the video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope to see you in one of my next tutorials.